Eyes up in this motherfucker. Hey, see, each is own, man. Everybody different. Me, personally, I'm on a different on a whole nother thing. You know, it could be my environment. I haven't really, I really haven't had it as tough as a lot of people, so I don't know, but. No, but I had it tough. Man. I had it tough, man, but what I tell you about people, man, I'm not lying. People displace people. First of all, oh, you, yeah. you're by yourself, man. You alone. The people that's been in America that are the same as you, they ain't fucking with you. You know what I mean? So there's going to be some people who fall through the cracks and they know how to get down like we ain't seen people get down in a long time. And like I'm saying, the mentality of those who have less is a hell of a lot harsher than those who've had. And that's what I'm saying is like, when you push one of these people against the wall, it's not like going to be one of us. Oh, I give up. <laughs> no. There is no give up in somebody who hasn't had. And America is not ready for a million plus people who hasn't had nothing all of a sudden be told, no, you ain't got no job now. Oh, no, you got to move. Oh, no, you can't stay here no more. Your little femur check run out. Oh, no. Oh, no, you can't do this. Oh, no. Oh, no, you can't put these organs out and sell them. Follow this story. Huh? It's going to be interesting to follow this story to see exactly how it played out because that's one point you did make that resonates with me and the other stuff. You know? Yeah, but it, it's only the displaced oh, no, people center. Is them using this as an excuse? Yeah, I, I think uh, our, our second leg down on the economy? I think so. I think, you know, oh, well, we brought so many Haitians in, but then they're going to blend into the black communities. And then when they do a couple of uh, uh, censuses, because they got the census going now, they're going to start saying, oh, the, the, the African American numbers are up. The black community is bigger than we first counted. They are stupider than we thought. Half of them don't even speak English after 750 years. Shit is going to be stupid and they're, they're looking for excuses to put more burden on a group of people that have already been burdened and say these people are our burden. Look America, look, it's these black people weighing us fucking down once again. That's what I don't want to happen. You see what I'm saying? And I know you feel me on this, but you're right. How, do, how am I going to expect these Haitian people to come here and commit crime. First of all, they don't know the rules. Second of all, if you bring a bunch of people who don't know the rules to a place and open a door and say, well, go out, live your life. Come check in with us every three days. Somebody's going to get lost. Somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to like try to save themselves. And people don't know how to deal with that. People have never seen nothing like this happen. Katrina was a test. I said it. Katrina was a precursor to see how black people would act in adversity, spread upon. This is how the American blacks acted when we snatched them out of where they was and just put them any place they could be. That's how they acted. Well, let's see what would happen on a global scale. Let's bring two million blacks from a, a complete different continent and or different, you know, country and see how they act. Not knowing the language, not knowing nobody, only listening to what we tell them. Hmm. Can we bring down minimum wage? Hmm. Can we blame a whole bunch of things on helping these can we blame a whole bunch of stress and debt on helping these people? Hmm. And what do the black people look like here? Well, somebody black wants something now. What they look like? What they look like? You asking for too much, man. You ain't lost nothing. You asking for too much, black lady. You have not lost your house and your family. This ain't Katrina. What you asking something for? We have these Haitians we have to take care of. You're an American. What the hell's your problem? And that's the disparity amongst black people. Black people gonna feel as if that these other black people came out of nowhere and taken something from them. 
There's poor white people going to think these black people are coming from over here and taking something from them. There's Mexicans over here, and white people and black people already think that Mexicans are taking from them. What's going to happen? You got two million people, black people, who can't speak the language. I walk down the street with a certain haircut, I'm being called fucking immigrant, fucking Mexican. Can you imagine a black guy walking down the street fucking Haitian? You're not from Haiti. Need to move out that neighborhood. But people are like that. People look for a reason to place their problems and their disparity. And what better than another group of people who got it less than you? And when these people claw back and want their self-respect, there'll be problems. <laughs> you know? I'm just trying to tell you what I'm going to see. I'm telling you the visions that are coming to my head. This shit is going to happen more times than not. They're going to be blaming shit on Haitians. They're going to be blaming crime on Haitians. And when you look at a black person, you see every black person. They ain't going to see Haitians after a while. They're just another black person. Breaking the laws, doing crimes. Mm -hmm. And then the good people of Haiti, the ones who's going to better their lives, is trying to do the right thing. That's just another Haitian. See what I'm saying? It's a perpetual pinwheel of bullshit. And it's going to happen. And what? They're going to start blaming crime on them. That's the first thing. The crime levels are going up. Haitians getting this free alcohol. Cheap crack. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you get a check every month? They ain't been living off no check their whole entire life. Now six of them in the house. Band together to do the best they can. Somebody going to get high. It was an earthquake. Huh? earthquake in that area for like 200 years. Yeah. 200 years. They got to let you know something's going on. But now look at this. Regardless of how they got here, regardless of what's happening, I hope they don't treat these people like District 9. You know what I'm saying? I hope these people are treated with respect. I hope the criminal element will be weeded out. We got our own criminals here. Don't export the bad ones over here just to prove a point. That's what I'm thinking. They're fighting at the airport to get on planes to come here to go places they ain't never been. Don't know nobody. Want a fresh start because somebody telling you they're going to give you money every month to live like a movie star. You could be a rapper. This false American dream fed to these people is not going to cost nobody nothing but grief. It's going to be grief, man. They're going to cost grief. The fake American dream. Grief for these people. You know? And it's going to be sad. Like I said, it's going to be people talking about, we don't get no help here. Why are you helping these people? And it's just going to be another set of racism pop up, man. It's already rampant. I just hope that that earthquake don't strike more because that's how it works. Especially that big of an earthquake. Well, I just hope that we have different, we have more than just Haitians coming over here. Well, see, I hope that it's not a man-made thing. I hope that.